So now we're going to add three cups of non-fat powdered milk to the meat. We're doing this to prevent crumbling of the meat. All right, at this point we'll add the powdered milk to the meat and I'll mix it in as I'm mixing the meat. <laughs> A little out of hand. So what are you making today? Making summer sausage. This is gonna be a cranberry cherry summer sausage. It's one of our favorites. Mixing 17 pounds of venison and with 14 pounds of pork to uh, get a good blend. It'd be easier if we had a meat mixer, but we don't, so this is how we do it. All right, at this point, um, we're gonna mix our cherries and cranberries into the meat and start mixing that blend up. So we need to add about seven pounds of dried berries. You can get these at Costco or on Amazon. Seems like a lot of berries, but this summer sausage does require quite a bit. And here's some cranberries. start mixing these in. Next we're going to add the seasoning, but we're going to wait until I mix some of these berries in a little bit. Do you want me to hold the bucket? Do what? Do you need help holding the bucket? No. Just pull them in and keep falling. It's a lot of manual work doing a batch this big. Like I said, it's going to turn out amazing. This is our favorite sausage. Put all the dry seasonings. We mix it all together and with water. With water. And uh, yep. now we'll mix it in with the meat. And the berries. We will list the seasonings used on the screen. Um, you can buy pre-mixed summer sausage seasoning or you can mix your own. We prefer to mix our own because we like more mustard seed, less salt, a little more pepper, um, just a little different than the basic seasonings. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this until it's got a nice tacky texture and it's thoroughly mixed. Okay, at this point we're going to stuff the mix in the stuffer. <clears throat> and then start to crank it in. And then the meat will start to fill the bag. Oh, very tight. Go ahead. And at this point, we're gonna pack the bag and seal the other end. Make sure it's really tight. All right, so I get. Yeah. 
Come as close as you can. Yes. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, where are we putting our... All right. All right, at this point, we put on a steel clip that closes the package off after she twists it real tight. We don't want any excess air or room in there and we gotta make sure that it's all the way around the casing come from the top. So see, we, we don't want any casing pinched in there so we gotta get around it. So close tightly, no case in there. You can squeeze it, check. That's good. At this point, we're trying out some on the smoker. We got them in there, sitting on some tin foil so they don't get any direct heat. Have the probe in the meat and the probe on the grill so we can keep track of the temperature of the smoker and the meat. Set it to smoke, we're trying to keep the temperature down between 120 and 160. Um, we'll see how it goes. This is our second batch, about 30 pounds of meat, uh, higher pork content in this one. Um, we're gonna mix in the seasoning now. And I'll just continue to mix until we have a nice pasty consistency. After this, we're gonna add the jalapenos and cheese into this after we separate this batch out in two separate batches. We're gonna do one plain and one jalapeno cheese. Red bun again? Yep. So this is the plain batch. We added a little bit of water on top of the uh, seasonings. Uh, we mix it up until we get that nice sticky consistency so it actually clumps really good <clears throat> at that point should be ready for stuffing this is just a plain summer sausage mix all right
squeeze the air out of there and then make sure they're packed pretty tight. Two questions. Cool. And at this point, we're going to seal the top with these crimp pliers. For this batch, we're adding about a pound and a half of jalapenos, about a pound and three quarters of cheese. Um, we'll try a jalapeno cheese blend. We also added the normal summer sausage uh, seasonings and some water, and we'll see how this turns out. Now that we've reached 165 degrees, we're going to pull out the summer sausage. The second one, we're dropping into the cold water bath to stop the cooking process. All right, so it just got done cooling down. Let's cut in and find out how it turned out. It looks it's good. Perfect. Wow. Nice job. Let's see how it tastes. Oh. Amazing. Good? Yep.